so we do have monthly favorites happening. So August was a good and a bad month for me, as it turns out. Um, I had surgery last week, which is why I haven't posted. So this is the first video since surgery, and I will do a video about the surgery and what happened and all of that, because it kind of, kind of came like, like you know how sometimes when dominoes just kind of line up all in a row and then boom, that's just kind of how it happened. So um. My surgery happened last week and um, I'm feeling much better. Um, I'm still a little uncomfortable, but I'll do another video on that. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Um, but let's talk about some things that I have been loving um, for the month of August. So we are going to start out with fingernails and I apologize, I had no chips on my fingernails until I started doing my hair and makeup today. And then they chipped like crazy. But um, I struggle. The struggle is real in this sense with super oily nail beds and getting fingernail polish to stay on my fingernails for longer than a couple of days without chipping or just peeling off altogether. Sometimes I just, I can take, you know, when I paint my fingernails, I can go like this bloop, and the entire thing just comes off. I don't know, I don't know why. But, um, so when I find a fingernail polish that will stay on my nails for five days, I get super excited. And Essie has come out with these new, what are these, these, like they're new, um, I don't know what they're called, but I think they're like a form of gel polishes. And there's, this is one of the colors that I picked up that's called Twill Seeker, which is really, really pretty. It's what I have on my nails. It looks really dark, but in the sunlight, it's this beautiful purple and it has some iridescence to it. Really, really a fun, fun, pretty, pretty color. Um, ir it iridesces green, which I think is really nice. But I, I want to pick up a couple more colors. I just got this one to try it out. I didn't want to make a huge investment because they are kind of pricey. They're $12. But I, I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, and the second fingernail polish that I'm going to talk about, which I have been loving, is from OPI. And this is called Madame President. This was part of the their new collection that came out with, what was that TV show? Scandal. Like, it was, like, based around the Scandal TV show, I guess. Or Carrie Washington was the one who, I don't know. I know Carrie was involved. But this is what has been on my toes all month long. I love this color. I get so many compliments. I would put it on my fingernails, except OPI on my fingernails. We're not friends. It just doesn't work out for me. But on my toes, amazing. Um, and I love this color. It is just so beautiful and I've gotten tons of compliments. So I have been absolutely loving that and I know that's kind of random that we're starting off with nails, but that's okay, I can do that. It's my channel. For face, um, I only have two products. Oops, things are falling down. I only have two products. Um, I didn't do a whole, whole lot. I don't have tons of product, actually, you know, compared to some months, but I do have two masks that I have been loving. And the first one is from Nip Fab Skin. And I got this at Target, and I want to say it was only like $12. Super, super affordable. And this is their Glycolic Instant Fix Mask. So it is a form of um, exfoliation. Glycolic acid will exfoliate your skin. And what I do is um, before I shower, I wash my face, and I put this on, and then in the shower. Especially because when I, you know, right after surgery, you don't want to have to move a whole lot. So I didn't want to actually have to be there and go like this, you know, standing in the shower, exfoliating my entire face. No. So I let this do the, all the work for me. Beautiful. Um, I use this two to three times a week. I found that after my surgery, I'm oily right now, which is weird. Like, I came out with three problems. One, I crave meat. You guys know I was vegan for six months, and I have been dreaming of meat, and I have been craving it like crazy, so I went ahead and had some, and I feel so much better. Two, I have been sweating profusely. Like, I'm not a sweater. That's not my game. It's just not what I, it's not what I do, but boy have I been sweating. Like, it's gross. And three, my skin is super oily. My hair is oily. I just... It's probably all the medications I've been on, a lot of antibiotics and things like that, so I'm hoping that no more of that stuff, because it's not, it's not cute. It's not cute. But the next one that I have been loving is from Bliss, and this is the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. And this, you put on your face and it bubbles away, and it just really just gives your face a boost. It makes it look brighter and tighter and just beautiful. But on that note, 
I did pick up the one from e.l.f. So I am going to see how these compare, which one's better, which one's not. $14, $48, $52, I don't know. Um, so I will be figuring out, you know, which one's better because I love Bliss. I love my, my mask. Like that is, I like using it before I put on makeup. I like using it um, to, you know, as something to just be soothing at the end of the day. But that mask and I, we're friends. We're friends like this. All right, let's talk about hair. The one product I have been reaching for and reaching for and reaching for because my hair has been so super oily, like ridiculously oily, is my dry shampoo from Orbe. This is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo um, C Buckthorn Berry Shampooing Sec Perk Up. This is great stuff. Oop. It fell down. This is really, um, this is one of my favorite shampoos. Now it does leave a white cast if you spray too closely um, and for too long. So I do have to like work on that a little bit. Um, it isn't like my triple sec. This is another one that's holy grail, but this one's so expensive. I love you, but I don't love your price. That one is 100% no white cast. This one has a bit of a white cast. But this one's a lot more affordable in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm almost out. I have to go get my second, my second bottle, but because I, you know, I even, I showered, I washed my hair, and like later on in the day, I'm like, ooh, what's happening to the rescue? So, that is my love. We are friends. I have been reaching for that more and more and more lately. It's kind of crazy. All right, for the face, I have really only been wearing, I've only been going back and forth between two foundations. And I don't know what I did with the other one. Don't you hate when that happens? I hate when that happens. Oh, it fell down. Okay, so the two foundations that I have been going back and forth, and it's kind of funny because one is drugstore and one is high end. Um, this is the foundation that I have been wearing pretty much every day to, to school. You know, I was out for my surgery, but before that and after that, this guy. This is from Maybelline. It's the Better Skin um, Skin Transforming Foundation. Um, it's oil free. It has t some titanium diox dioxide, um, SPF 15. This is such a beautiful foundation, and every single time that I wear it to school, I get so many compliments. It is beautiful. It is an absolutely beautiful foundation. They also have a powder. I'm gonna do a review because I don't think I've even reviewed these, um, but I have both, and I love them. I don't necessarily have oily skin. Well, I mean, I do right now, but I mean, I know that that foundation is geared towards somebody with oily skin, but I enjoy wearing it and normally I have normal to dry skin. So just goes to show you that you can enjoy any form of foundation, even if it's not one that's specifically meant for your skin type. Now, this is the high end one that I have it on. I've been loving, I've been wearing it in almost all my videos. It's just so pretty. This is from Lancome. This is their, are we ready? Tint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick with SPF 21. Lancome Stick Foundation, and I, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it, and this is in 210 Buff Nude, this is a beautiful foundation, it applies so beautifully, it does have, I, I want to say one of the main ingredients is um, dimethicone, which makes it just glide on your skin like a dream, I do have a review coming up on this guy, I have a wear test, um, stay tuned, but I already love it, just so you guys know, I already love it, it's beautiful, um, the shade that I got might be a smidge too light, but the next one up is way too dark. So I'm just going to work with that and then add some bronzer to my face because it's easier to darken your face for my, for me, it's easier to darken it than lighten it. So, but I love the way that this, I love that foundation. It's gorgeous. Gorgeois, as some people say, not me, but some people. All right, moving on face powders. This has been the only face powder I have been reaching for. It's from Kat Von D. Um, this is the Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. I did do a review on um, all of the products that I received from Kat Von D from my Vox Box with Influencer and I will link that below. Beautiful, beautiful powder. I want to say it's in the $30 range. Super affordable and I mean my under eyes have never looked so beautiful. Never. I normally struggle with you know, wrinkles and things settling and not looking as cute as you want. Not with that. Beautiful. Um, the, the really the, the blush that I've been reaching for the most this month is from Alme. And this is the Smart Shade in Mauve. And I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. Anyone can wear it. You know, it starts out light, but you can build it up in a, 
in a, in a hot second. Like it just, it is so beautiful. It's like that beautiful natural flush. It's not like in your face mauve or pink, even though it does have like those stripes, but it's just, it's my go-to right now. It is all I want to wear because it's long wearing and it just looks good with everything. It truly does. The next thing that I have been just reaching for, it's top shelf sitting in front of me every day right now, is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette. I do have both of these on. I use them all the time. I mean, it's just, they're stunning. And there is one for darker skin. Um, I'm very, very pale, so you can build this bronzer up very easily. This highlight is so pretty. It's just so pretty. This is such a great, great palette. The formula is buttery and smooth and goes on. Is it isn't chalky or chunky or cakey looking? Beautiful. All right, moving on to eyes. Oh wait, I have two concealers. All right, so the only concealers really that I've been reaching for, Kat Von D, the Locket concealers. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Once again, these were included in the box box that I received and I love them. Um, I'll link that video below, but you do have to set these. A little bit goes a long way and you have to set them. So, and Kat Von D has like a huge range. It's, it's amazing. The range um, of colors for her new, like her new release. Go Kat Von D. Okay, the palette that I have been using nonstop, and it's probably been for the last two months, not just this month, or this past month, Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail Shadow. Um, these are amazing. These are so amazing. I love them, I use them all the time. I use them in a get ready with me. These are just beautiful shadows. If you want me to do a review on this palette, swatching all of them, please let me know. I will be more than happy to do it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about including another one of these Violet Boss palettes in my next giveaway. Let me know if you like that idea or not so much. Just let me know. All right, another eye product. Um, this one's expensive. This one's really pricey. From Tom Ford. This is his, um, oh, that was bothering me. This is his cream color for the eyes in Sphinx. And this is the prettiest shade. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. So it's a gold, but then it iridesces pink and orange. I get so many compliments every single time I wear this. And normally I just wear it by itself. I'll do something in the crease just to give a little dimension and definition. And then I'll just take this on a flat brush and just pat it on top or even my fingers because both work. And I get so many compliments. Everyone compliments me when I wear it. Um, I wore it yesterday to school and I was like, wow. My husband complimented me, my in-laws complimented me, my instructor complimented me. Like if people walking down the hall were like, hey, what's on your eyes? It's so pretty. Just randomly, everyone started complimenting me and I was like, Tom Ford. I know, it's a little pricey, but I've been loving it. Um, I have two more and then we are done. I love this brush. I'm obsessed with this brush. This is the newest brush um, released from Wayne Goss. I don't even know, it doesn't even have a number. Um, I love Wayne Goss brushes. They are creme de la creme. They are luxury at their finest. They are beautiful. And this has been, I use this for pretty much everything. I use it for, um, for my baking when I go to kick off bake. I use it for highlight. I use it for setting my under eye. I use it, um, I use it in so many different ways. It is so soft. If I have to buff anything into my skin, I use this brush. This is the softest brush, but it also is so versatile and I love using it every single day in some way, shape or form, but I love all of his brushes. I have several of the collections and I'm obsessed with them. They are my, my splurge, my luxury item that I think is worth every single penny. These are beautiful brushes, can be used for blush, contour, highlight, um, powder foundation, just translucent setting powders, like anything that you can think of this brush can be used for and I love the shape. I love the shape, so, ugh, obsessed. Last but not least, I know I'm so late to the party on this, but I cannot help it. Um, this is my favorite scent. Um, funny story, I, I smelled it on somebody, and I was like, well, so who smells so good? And this lady, this little, she's a cute little old lady, was like, hey, it's me, and, and I was like, what are you wearing? And I don't know what she was trying to tell me, but it was not this. Um, Terry Muggler? I don't know, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. But she she came up with something funky and she was like alien and I was like, 
okay, sure. And I walked over to, and I walked over to the perfume section, and sure enough, it was sitting on the shelf, and I was like, mine. So this is my travel size. Um, my husband told me I couldn't buy the full size. He wants to purchase it for me as a gift. So I'm waiting on my full size. But in the meantime, I do have like this little travel size, um, and oh, it's just. And you know the best part about this this um, perfume for me is as the day goes on and as it mixes more and more with my body chemistry, it just smells better and better. It's beautiful. All right. So those are all of my favorites for the month of August. I would love to know what are some of your favorites. Something new that came out or something that's an oldie but a goodie. Oh, I forgot something. My favorite lipsticks from this past month. So Bare Minerals is the winner for my favorite lipstick um, from last month. I'm so sorry, I forgot to include this. And I have so many of them, I absolutely love them. I am going to do a review on these. I will do swatches of all of them because they're so beautiful, they're matte, they're amazing. And I love them and I have an obsession with them. If I could purchase all of them, I would. So yeah, all right. So those are all my favorites. I would love to know what you are, you have been loving. If it's new, if it's old, if it's skincare, hair care, makeup, doesn't matter what it is, I would love for you guys to post it down below. I will be doing some reviews on some of the products that I mentioned, and I will be doing um, an update on my like my life, what's going on. You know, my husband was sick, he still is sick. And so like there's just a lot going on and I will do an update for those of you. I appreciate all your your prayers and your well wishes. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So until next time, guys. Bye.